I hadn't introduced everybody, but this is Bo Leparati. Uh, we've known him for, over, well, I've known him for 42 years, or 43 years since Janice and I got married. He was actually a usher in our wedding. Clear left, clear right. Western Regional Airport, automated weather observation. One, six, five, six, Zulu, wind, three, six, zero, at one, four, visibility, one, zero, sky condition, missing, temperature, two, five, dew point, one, five, altimeter, two, nine, or eight, eight. Zoom in here. We're going, to, the, the wind's out of the north, so we're going to take off to the north. We always take off with 10 degrees of flaps. We should have flaps coming down, 10 degrees. Turning this red knob, what were you doing there? Uh, that's the mixture. We're just sitting here on the ground. Don't want it to load up and get too rich. So I'll lean it out a little bit. This is the pop knob and this is our throttle. This is our cow flaps, this is our trim, and this is our rudder trim, and that's our fuel. Right now we have it coming out of both tanks. Rust and traffic. Skyline 80, pop it, go taxi into run-up area, 36, rust. All right, uh, so those rudder pedals, they articulate, that's brakes. So do a brake check on your side. I'm gonna start going, and there's a left brake and a right brake, so you wanna hit them together. So go ahead and get your toes up there. See how they articulate? All right, I'm gonna go. Now break us. There you go, on the tops, on the tops. They're on the very top. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Wanna try it? Put your foot on the rudder pedals. All right, not the brakes, just the rudder pedals. All right, hit it, hit it to the right. Go right, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little more, a little more. Now line us up on this yellow line. Just like one of those lawnmowers, except for using your feet. I'm gonna do a quick run-up. I thought they had a run-up pad here, my plane. All right, we are ready to go. It's rich, fuel on both cow flaps. Rims, lights, landing lights are on. Rust and traffic, Skyline A0, Papico taking off 3-6, Rust. We're on base, don't see a plane coming, we're good to go. Thank right you, now, I always call out heels on the floor so I don't accidentally hit the brakes while we're, while we're rotating out of here. Okay, instruments are green. Airspeed's coming alive. We're gonna rotate at 60 knots. 60, rotate. Let's come up. Traffic Skyline 80, Papa Echo, parting the area to the east for us. Side 20. Yeah. At your altimeter. Now we're 1,500, 1,600 feet above sea level. Right. We took off was about 380 feet sea level. So we're about 1,300 feet above the ground right now. Well, do you have to stay as their distance away from Monroe? Uh, yes and no. You see that this line right here? That's the Tarsus airspace. And we are okay to go into it or we can talk to them. We kind of have our choice on that. The blue circle is their airspace, and you need to be talking to them before you go in there. So we can do what we want to outside of that blue. And it is bumpy today, isn't it? It is. I'm surprised. Okay, that's I-20 way over there. Yeah. What it is, I'm kind of going to the south of uh, Monroe's airspace here. I gotta stay clear of these clouds because I'm not on an IFR flight plan. 
Even though they're not very big, you're not supposed to. Must be 500 feet below, 2,000 feet to each side, or 1,000 feet above. We've never flown out this way. This is nice. Yeah. And is that A's typical? Yeah, it is. And haze is usually indicative of air or unstable air. If we can get above that too, that'll be nice. Definitely smoothed, smoothed out a little bit higher, didn't it? Yes, it did. 450, or what does that indicate? Uh, 400 feet, 50 feet per mile. So in one minute, we'll go up 450 feet. Gotcha. What is this? You, you got your hand? It's a throttle. Oh, okay. Power. <laughs> don't have an accelerator you could use with your foot, do you? Oh, no, that's 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 how you steer. <laughs> does your dad fly with y'all? He does. He, uh, he had thought he might go today, but he was he wanted to be there with the housekeeper there, so. Okay. Right, we're at 5,500 feet. So, uh, if you're heading in a easterly direction, you go odd thousands plus 500. Okay, if you're going in a westerly direction, you go even numbers plus 500. That's if you're VFR. That way we have a thousand feet of separation between planes that are coming head on to each other. Right. How do you know what short mixture of computer? Uh, a little bit is just uh, I'm watching the fuel flows, but what I typically try to do is keep our cylinder head temperatures below 385 degrees. So I'll just kind of lean them out a little bit accordingly there. Go by the bend, babe. I was going to say, you're down uh, down that way. Pretty close. I'll make sure I stay out of their airspace. Okay, that's Washtenaw River there. Monroe's Airport straight in front of us. And then, yeah, there's the church and everything right straight down here. There's a mall out that way. Out our left. Yeah, I see it. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And this is part of that uh, wildlife refuge. What is it? Russell Sage, I think, or Russell, Russell Sage. Yeah. Ginger owns a, uh, or her family owns 80 acres out this way. Yeah, it's hers. But it it's hers. She has 80, and her, one of her sisters has 80 that adjoined it. Oh. And then one of her brothers has another 80 lengthwise below it. Oh, okay. So it's uh, uh, 240 acres right there. Wow. Oh. Did y'all ever do anything with it, or here? Would you ever build or anything? Oh, uh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. We hunt. Oh, yeah. yeah she has a uh, nephew who who put some cattle on part of hers. We've got about five or six deer stands on it. <laughs> sure get there a lot quicker this way than you do driving. <laughs> Probably you can't land there and you can fly over it. What north south highway is this that we're crossing over? 425. Okay, it's main four lane. I guess that's what we've taken north south before, haven't we? I think so. That's between Rabel and Winsboro. We're on top of it now. I mean, it's just right up by this hole. Oh, oh, I, I think it's right below us. All right, you want me to circle around? 
Come back from the other way. Right there it is. I didn't. That's it, right? See that patch right there? Yeah. Take you a picture then. away from it enough to get a good picture. No. I'm just trying to circle around it. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the video, too. Okay. Well, that's nice land. I see why you hunt on it. I see our deer stands. Oh, oh you good. can see them. Uh -huh. right. Yeah. That was fun. Good deal. It's up to some smoother air, because it's hard to see where I'm going, watch the land, and keep the plane from bouncing around all at the same time. <laughs> there are some pretty places out this way, pretty farms and... Yeah. It's this town down here on our left, babe. Oh, that may be. I think that's Winsboro. That's Winsboro. Did you want to fly some boat? November 9 or Sierra Echo Echo Approach 132.05. Oh, I think he can do it. Yeah, we, we're in some smooth air right now. So, uh, tell you what, go ahead and take the controls. Light, light hand on them. Try to keep this around 65, 200 feet. It's just, just light. So it's your airplane now. I'm, I'm off. Okay. And, uh, just, just like a light pressure and light pressure. Tell you what, see this heading bug right here? I'm gonna bank us and head us out that way. When that heading bug lines up right there, then then it's kind of kind of anticipate it a little bit. Don't wait till it's straight up. And when it's a about five or ten degrees off, just kind of ease it in. All right, now this is what we do. Quit looking at this. Now look at your sight picture, okay? See the horizon? Huh? And kind of get a reference. You know, I usually tell people it's about three fingers above the dash. Right. All right. So obviously, if you're doing this, you're turning right. If you're doing that, you're banking left, right? Yeah. So all you want to do is maintain straight and level flight. If you're doing this, you're descending, you can see that horizon, right? It's doing the same thing. This is. Traffic all right. So just maintain that. And. Do it like you're driving a car. You know, if you got one hand, usually I'm just kind of real light, and I'll just glance over here occasionally. Don't get fixated on it. Right. And if you kind of go, yeah. Well, Daddy, what, about 65? Uh, it's, you're at 65, 40. You're only 40 feet off. That's no big deal. Oh, uh, well, I'm 40 feet high. Now, 20 feet. So, you know, right, right about now, just kind of give it just a touch of back pressure. When I say a touch, I mean just put a little pressure on it. Right. More. Well, there you go. And then as that kind of creeps up, just kind of, it's a little bit of a dance, you know. Right. And then once you kind of get the feel for it, then you're going to make less and less corrections. And it'll, it'll be a little more natural. Right. Boost line. I hadn't introduced everybody, but this is Bo Leparati. Uh, we've known him for over, well, I've known him for 42 years, or 43 years since Janice and I got married. He was actually a usher in our wedding. And, uh, but Janice babysit his kids some, didn't you, baby? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, she's not going to say if they were good or bad. She. Uh, <laughs> they were gingers of those three girls. They were good. <laughs> she had a few boys that weren't so good. <laughs> But anyway, folks reached out to us when we was at, down here a few months ago at church. Said, if you ever come down and go flying, I'd like to go up with you. So we went out. What we were doing was flying around some property they own out there in uh, west or east of Monroe. But it was bumpy as a whole kid out down low. But uh, it's nice and smooth up here. Oh, Bo's taking the controls, doing a good job, holding altitude well, keeping it within 50 feet, plus or minus 6,500. 
Remember, we're heading westerly, so it's even thousands plus 500. I kind of start banking us off to the left, just a little bit more there. See that big hole right there? Yeah. Let's aim for that, because we're going to get below the clouds. You about ready to head back, or you want to fly some more? I'm good. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Well, all right. it's up to you. This is your day. That'd be a good hole for us to pop down through. Right in the middle of it there. All right, let's go ahead and descend a little quicker here. I head a little more that way. See, we got a lot more space to the left, just a hair, so we can get down below them. It's amazing how the, the bottom of the cloud just is almost flat. No, they, they really typically are. Let me have her now. All right. Where Darbone Lake is? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go above the Dar up to Darbone and look? That's Ken, good. did you want to do that right quick? A time. Oh yeah. They're drawing the lake down, and it's real low, and I'd like to look and see All right. maybe a few pictures of what it looks like with the with the lake. And as we used to, we used to go to Lake Claver to take y'all. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. We had some epic trips to Lake Claver. That was so much fun. Yeah, it was. The camp and yeah, y'all were always so good. Yeah, y'all and the Jacobsons. Take your boats and haul us, drag us all up there. <laughs> okay, that's a Russian airport right here. We, that's where we took off. And you'll watch him. He's going to turn left in a minute on base. And then he's in the lake right there in front of us, isn't it? Yeah, they just drawn it down to let people do some work on piers and stuff. And yeah. I think they do that in about every four or five years. Rustin Airport here, Camden? Yeah, well, the, a lot of airports share the same frequency. That's the reason why you always say Rustin traffic. Or, that, that way, somebody knows whether or not they need to be looking out for you or not. Right. Yeah, and you'd be surprised. We have an airport in Oklahoma that's probably 75 miles away that we share a frequency. And if they're at the right altitude, we'll hear them. But they'll always say, you know, they'll announce their airport name. So you know, oh, okay, that doesn't mean anything. Tell over here to the left, it's down. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, you can really tell. These little fingers are just gonna dry it up. Yeah. But the main body of the lake, you, you can't really tell that much. Did you, did you want to go over the bridge, Mo, or where'd you want to go? Uh, that'll be good. Can up this way if you can. The right a little bit? And that's mainly where we fish is off to the right. Okay. Up in that. Yeah. Toward that water tower. Uh, well, up this way to the right of that. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. But, uh, but wherever you want to fly in this area. Is Today's your day, good. man. <laughs> the balls. I'm, I'm just, I'm just the, the chauffeur. Oh, wow, you okay. can tell. Yeah, and, and, and some of it, I, I was just the passenger riding a lot more. We'll be straight for the car. He's waiting for us. Oh, yeah, see, it is down over here. What did it said in those fingers, baby? It's oh, just yeah, you can tell. Mud. That boat right here? No. Through there. Want me to loop around this way so you can get... Whatever you want to do. Tell me, man, you the boss. Some of these houses here are high and dry. There's some of those boat houses that aren't in very much water at all when it's up. Yeah.
Huntsville Regional Airport. Automated weather observation. One eight three one zero. Wind zero two zero, zero at one one. Visibility one zero. Sky condition missing. Temperature two seven. Dew point one five. Altimeter two nine or eight four. The winds are at two zero, so when we land, we have a right cross wind. The traffic Skyline 80 Pump Echo is 6 to the northeast, going to enter a left downwind, 36, full stop, Rustin. That's your airport right there. That's it. Trying to see if I can see that plane that's landing, but yeah. they're, they're so small. They're hard to see sometimes. Oh, he's on the end of the runway. I can barely see him. He's a little black dot. Taking off or landing? Landing. All right. We'll go out just a little further, let him get... He's doing uh, touch and goes. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. And maybe when I lost him then, I was like, well, where'd he go? Looks like he's airborne now. We're driving south now, Limit Tango, left bump wind, 36 Russian. Russian traffic. Skyline 80 Pop Echo, we're four to the west, and we're going to enter a uh, left downwind at 45. We're looking out for that crosswind traffic. I'm on the downwind yet, babe? I can't see him at all. I see him now, yeah. He's almost midfield. See him? White dot out there. I don't see him. Almost to the other end of the runway. Oh, I see him. Yeah. I see him. The traffic Skyline 80 Pop Echoes, left downwind, 36, full stop, Rustin. Rustin, I saw down on the Tango, left base, 36, full stop, Rustin. Rustin, traffic Skyline 80 Pop Echo, turning base. 3-6, full stop. Rust in traffic, Skyline 80, Pop Echo turning base to final, full stop. 3-6, Rust. 500. I did like you said something about Hail Mary. What's that? I did like you said something like Hail Mary. Oh, I didn't catch that. <laughs> Rustin traffic, Skyline 80, Pop Echo, short final, 36, full stop, Rustin. Rustin traffic, stop down, we're out clear, 36 out, 3 active ramp, Rustin. See these lights, Bo? They're four, four whites, that means we're a little high. What we want is two white and two red on our final. There's one red. up, get more drag, so it slows down. That way you don't have to hit the brakes so hard. Sock's a little gusty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Preston traffic, Skyline 8, Joe Pompeco, clear 3-6, taxing to the ramp. Preston. Turn your air conditioner on. <laughs> now that was a blast. Good deal. I love that. Did you enjoy it? I enjoy going out and seeing some of that area that... All that Beth River area and all that wildlife area down there. Uh-huh. Patty and them used to, to um, hunt down, duck hunt down that way some. They filled up, haven't they? They have, my gosh. Good job, boo. <laughs> <laughs>